vacuum is recognized as a rich physical medium. A general theory of the vacuum is thus a theory of everything. A universal theory. It would be appropriate to call the vacuum ether once again. No. Returning to Whatever. The ethereal Fine. Ionosphere. I don't give a shit. As I said, this layer of ether above our heads is a constant sea of If the scientists want to call the vacuum ether, I'm still going to say ether the theory was disproved because it's a completely different thing. It's because of this ionized layer that we get ionospheric lightning in the form of sprites, which in turn influence the thunderstorms below. What? An ion is a particle, atom, or molecule with a net electrical charge. Yes. Electricity is a continuous flow of ions. The electrolytes sure. in our body are ionized. Everything is connected by electromagnetism and the ether. Yes, electrolytes, they are what plants crave, yes. Ancestors not only understood the workings of the ionosphere and the ether, but they had developed methods to masterfully harvest it as a fuel to power the entire Earth. And while the exact process by what which were they were powering, the they didn't have anything. And remains unknown. The structural remains that humanity has since repurposed and reused as architecture offer us many clues as to how it all worked. The evidence is everywhere for those with eyes to see. And once you see it, it becomes so glaringly obvious that you'll kick yourself for never noticing in the first place. Okay. The matter is very complex, and it will take time to really flesh out. So for now, let's have a closer look at some of these structures, and I will introduce some basic concepts. As we continue our journey, we will explore everything in more detail. We see them everywhere. On top of all these magnificent structures, Towers, spires, and pinnacles that rise into piercing antennas. It was through these complex antennas that the ether was harvested. You see, after the great reset of the 1800s, the enemy fractured the old world's unified understanding of God and created multiple- Not a vehicle, Voltron! That's the shitty one! Come on! At least let God have regular Voltron. ...to try and hide God and justify the existence of such grand and beautiful technological structures. And I know this may trigger some people, but stay with me, I will not let you down. But for now, it is critical to understand that a lot of the religious icons that adorn and make up these antennas were never indicators of different religions in the old world, nor were no. they intended to be. They signaled something else entirely. Oh, yeah? They are usually made from copper and gold. Both are excellent conductors of electricity. In many of the structures we call cathedrals, the symmetrical spikes on the pinnacles worked in a similar fashion, extracting ether from the ionosphere. Once harvested, the energy would inevitably have been drawn down <laughs> Why are you triggered? these domed structures. When examining many of the interiors of these domes, we come to realize that they rely heavily on symmetrical ornamentation. God lost lion Voltron to Satan in the divorce. In the of a cavity resonator works through symmetry to produce oscillation no. or vibration of energetic particles. Symmetrical shapes force energetic particles or ions to vibrate in a constant manner. Is this why we see perfect symmetrical oh. ornamentation within the ceiling of many domed structures? It no doubt sounds absurd. But the majority of these structures also feature a smaller type of cavity resonator, or what is more appropriately termed cavity magnetrons, that offer some clarity as to the real function of these structures. A cavity magnetron is a high-powered vacuum tube that generates microwaves using the interaction of a stream of ions with a magnetic field while in the cavity resonator. A magnetron operates through a hollowed, symmetrical vacuum. Okay. It emits powerful microwaves that can act as a source of free energy. Oh. If you break the symmetry or close the vacuum, it no longer functions. But can you see the resemblance? These structures okay. were never intended to hold glass within them. The controllers added the stained glass to the rose windows to shut off the magnetron's function. So if they I just break, so if I just break all the glass in the cathedrals, then the power will light up again. The free energy, and they are everywhere in these structures. So anything symmetrical is a magnetron now. That sounds good to me. If you look at the geometry of entire sections of the structures themselves, then it becomes very evident that they function in their entirety like a cavity magnetron to generate energy. All cavity magnetrons consist of a central heated circular metal chamber in which the current leaves, and it's called a cathode. You know, this is like, this world. is the plot the for the next Transformers movie. They're gonna have Megatron, like, take over a cathedral and use it as a magnetron to power himself up. Cathedral. Cathode. Like with everything else, they corrupt the truth and hide things in plain sight. The controllers removed most of the cathodes integral to these cavity magnetrons, but there are some structures today in which you can see traces of the old cathodes still present. The heavy reliance on symmetry and cavities within these structures is not coincidental. The symmetrical ornamentation would have worked in a similar manner, causing the energetic particles to vibrate in a constant manner, 
the flowers within the squares can be understood as similar to acoustic resonators, working to vibrate the ions. It is here that the energy would have been continually manipulated into vibration Par for the and course. energy of specific frequencies. Yeah. Really look at these magnificent acoustic resonators. Could you craft one of these by hand today and at such height? Why would an underdeveloped people spend so much of their time crafting such perfect symmetrical They weren't underdeveloped. They had no function and was purely aesthetic. They Just didn't. because they didn't have electricity the doesn't mean they had nothing to do with themselves. Or reactor contained within all these structures. Well, you know, before the they reactor, made reactor, smartphones, everybody work. just kind of didn't just do like anything. The conductor, generator, creator, and the name of Kata, they all contain the word Tor within their linguistic structure. They hold a linguistic memory and pay homage to the Taurus or toroidal field. The Taurus is the flow of electromagnetism. Uh, this flow you can't just, be... words can't just be somewhat similar and then, then you just fucking make them all mean the same thing. No life on Earth. No one That's not how it sure, works. But some have suggested that the engine was probably similar to a fusion reactor. The traces of these what? engines can be found within all of the larger generators. The empty shell of where the engine used to reside is usually, but not always, octagonal. Two hundred years ago, we were time, primitive the beings. The engines, sometimes repurposing the space as baptistries and bandstands. Sometimes just leaving the base either barren or attempting to cover them up. We see these octagonal structures in cathedrals, government buildings, mosques, and detached bandstands. And unless they have been repurposed, uh, no. these structures seem to hold I'm no not aware of function. It. They do not contribute to the overall structure. They appear superfluous and unnecessary. Theories have surfaced that the engines or central technological mechanism was similar to a tokamak. And while I do not subscribe to this idea, which will become theories have surfaced. Where? From who? Who is surfacing the theories? Evident as to why later in our journey. For now, do you have a discord? Is that where they're this surfacing? Is a powerful device that uses a magnetic field to produce plasma in the form of a torus. From Norb. This isn't Norb speaking. Fusion power. I don't know how to make chat commands. What do you people want from me? Here, I'll send you a link. And we see it everywhere. Hey, buddy. This is what columns and rotundas were used for. Powerful coils to generate electromagnetism and carry the current in loops. Nom, nom, the Taurus nom. is found at the base of pretty much every column found throughout our realm. It is everywhere. I'll get to it, don't worry. Look at the movement of electricity through a wire, and the simultaneous magnetic field it produces. This is exactly the shape of a column, and we see this present in all of these gigantic and meticulously crafted columns. This is why we see the magnetic field represented at the top of a lot of columns. It's the movement of the ions in the magnetic field. It's the movement of the toroid and the toroidal vortex. Yeah. As you saw, coils of copper wire are essential in electrifying the magnet. And I know what you want to say. That's great, but the no. columns and other structures you are Clear your to fucking are notifications. But you see, all of these impossible structures are made from a mixture of stone and metal. They use iron bars in their construction. Iron is magnetic. What? Okay. Yeah. Iron is magnetic, thank you. Okay, I get it, there's metal in there. These iron rods run throughout the stone infrastructure <coughs> and are complemented with copper and gold roofing. Copper and gold are strong conductors of electricity. Often we find entire statues, arches, domes, and roofing made from a distinctive blue copper. Ooh. Furthermore, the limestone, granite, and dolomite stone is mixed with crystal silicon, or quartz. Quartz has strong electric potential. The colonnades and arches we see everywhere were at once integral components to the overall electromagnetic infrastructure, while also constructed in geometric forms that mirror the flow of electromagnetic energy, such as coil loops, horseshoe magnetic fields, and toroidal vortexes. As with everything else constructed in the old world, they were both functional and crafted as a homage to that. Okay, picture. but who built it now? You gotta tell a lot us. Of ethereal it, you, you're were not structures constructed from red bricks and concrete. Red bricks and concrete <clears throat> are excellent conductors of electricity. They operated as huge capacitors or batteries. According to new red bricks and concrete are excellent conductors of electricity. Research: Red bricks can be converted into energy storage units that can be charged to hold electricity, like a battery and can store energy until required for powering devices. What? The key to this battery-like function inherent within red brick is the iron oxide. 
The development and use of red brick is so important, and we will be returning to this subject much later in our journey. The really big red brick power stations and batteries were designated and recognizable by their white stripes, such as St Pancras Railway Station in London, and many other famous structures. We still carry this red and white stripe designation of power stations today, and it is also an indicator for the magnet. Some were constructed of blue, black, and brown with white stripes. Towers, obelisks, and small clock towers functioned as the intermediate capacitors or batteries to store, distribute, and provide energy throughout the grid. The entire flat realm of Earth was connected as one whole grid, a complex interconnected system of free energy production, distribution, and consumption. And this entire grid was destabilized and deactivated somewhere between the 17th and 19th century. Power grids like this do not okay. function on a spherical map. <clears throat> Our historical ancestors Why wouldn't it function on a sphere? Explain that to me. Was flat. This type of futuristic technological advancement is the result of a civilization knowing exactly what type of earth they lived upon. They were not subject to the same satanic deceptions and abuses as we are. They were not raised believing they existed on a lonely globular rock spinning in the vacuum of space. The true ethereal electromagnetic properties of the earth were not hidden from them. They knew there was a dome firmament above their heads. They studied it. They imitated right. its properties and understood its central the relationship with the entire ethereal existence of electromagnetism. They revered the Take magnificence of its craft and showed utmost gratitude to the source, to God, and the ethereal Holy Spirit for giving them everything they needed. Look. We're 45 minutes away from halfway through it. Okay, how long is this segment going to be, buddy? Just keep telling me the crazy flat earth things, please. No, actually, how long is this section of the video? What the fuck? No, he has given no reason for why the earth is flat, and this has been a two hour long rant. I haven't seen anything as overwhelmingly exquisite as this before. How have we lived our entire lives and not seriously considered the impossibility of these structures? How have we lived our entire they're completely lives possible. the skeletons of the future long forgotten? I know this is all a lot to take in. And I know that the picture has not formed properly in your mind yet. Okay. It's hard to imagine an interconnected electromagnetic power grid of this size across the earth. And the technical nature of electromagnetism doesn't help. And I know that you're full of questions. Who were these people or beings that built these structures? Where did they go? And why were the power grids deactivated? The what about all the religious iconography? <laughs> because of the and Illuminati. Side of the cathedrals and mosques. What about all the histories and photographs we have of the construction of these structures? What about the Romans and the Greeks? What about some of the grand mosques that have been constructed in recent times? No time? pants stream. And if what you're um, telling me is true, then how do well, they I don't wear underwear, so I don't think I can do one of those. Was it similar to our Wi-Fi and radio signals? We will get to all of these. Not on Twitch, time. at least. We have barely scratched the surface, but for now, it is the last.